However, it's not one of those things where we're going to be dealing with uh, really a widespread rain event. It looks like the best chance for that's going to be in the south as we head through the evening and into the first part of the overnight. But let's enjoy the start of the day. This is a beautiful shot. I'm going to steal a line from Jim Carrey and Bruce Almighty. B-E-A, beautiful out there, looking nice. And you can see he, too, was a weatherman as well in that movie. But uh, here's what we're looking at out there. Right now, we have got a couple of passing clouds. Not a bad start to the day. Look at this. Now, the yesterday, we had a little bit of choppier water. We had the winds that were a little bit stronger yesterday. Wow, we've just got some glass out there out on Buckeye Lake. Beautiful start to the day out there, too. And your hour by hour forecast is looking pretty nice, too. We're going to be dealing with temperatures up to about 60 by 8 o'clock, 66 by 10. We're talking about the low 70s at lunchtime. And as we get into the afternoon, our highs are on their way up to 77 here in town. Now, we start off with sunshine. Clouds are going to build through the day, especially through the second half of the day. And we are going to be picking up the chance for a few late day showers. Again, this is not an all day event. Much of the day is going to be dry. Not everybody's seeing the rain either. It kind of hit or miss, but the best chance for rain will be in southern Ohio later on today. Let's get to that in just a second, though. Let's start off and show you what's happening with the satellite and radar imagery. Just a couple of passing clouds, but with those high clouds rolling in, sunrise beautiful out there today. Drought conditions looking great here in Ohio. We have been getting a lot of rain. I mentioned it uh, about an hour ago. We're at roughly about a six and a half inch surplus on the year for our rain, and we're at a surplus for the month. But I wish we could say the same about what's going on out west. They're still dealing with that mega drought out there. They could really use some rain. Sadly, uh, we've been getting a lot more than they have. They could use some of that. Though. And you can see as we jump out out to the current temperature map, we've got 52 in Mount Vernon and in Coshocton. Low 50s in Zanesville. We are in the low to mid 50s across the area. There could be a few upper 40s spattered in in some areas up in the hills, uh, but right now looking pretty good. Not a bad start. If you got to get out there and do any lawn mowing today, not a bad day to do it. We could see a little bit of rain, though, as we head through the evening, but much of the day will be dry. Saturday, Sunday, I've got the yellow lights on there because we'll have a little bit of rain out there early on Saturday, so the grass might be a little wet. And then Sunday, chance for a few late day showers and a few storms, especially if you're in the north. One thing we are looking at, though, medium levels of tree pollen, low levels of grass pollen. It's nice to see See that down because that grass pollen was really high last week or earlier this week, I should say. A nice start to the day. A few showers late today and tonight. More rain is possible on Sunday, but your hour by hour forecast has us up to 63 by 9. Lunchtime 71. We're talking about some sunshine into the afternoon, but then those clouds start to build 77 with the chance for rain as we head through the evening and into the overnight hours. Seasonable lows though 58. Back up to 77 with sun and clouds tomorrow. A few passing storms late in the day. Most of us going to be OK on that front. You can see those clouds build into the day. Look what happens as we head past 5, 6, 7 o'clock. A few light showers, especially in the south. We keep a few around early tomorrow before we dry out. Then into the afternoon again. I'm not going to rule out a pop up shower, maybe a rumble of thunder here or there. Much of the rain we see though over the weekend looks like it'll be here on Sunday. So 77 next couple of days. That's lucky. Double sevens, double sevens. I'm not really a gambler at all, but they say seven is lucky. My lucky number is 13. I figure if I pick 13, 13. Nobody else thinks it's lucky, so maybe it gives me luck because it's very happy, but you know, who knows? I don't think that I should anthropomorphize numbers. But anyway, we've got the 82 degrees for your temperature on Sunday. Some late day showers, a few storms are possible. It's going to get hot next week, 87 on Monday. We are in the low to mid 90s on Tuesday and Wednesday. We could get there on Thursday as well. Chance for a few showers and storms on Thursday. After that, we'll cool off a little bit, but that's a relative word cool because it's still going to be hot with highs in the mid 80s.